Hey guys, hope you're well. So this is gonna be a fairly short lesson where we're just gonna make sure that you understand how to uh, plot points on this diagram. And then we're also gonna do an exercise where I'll give you um, these points and then you just need to find the coordinates, okay? So pretty much what you need to know is that if I give you coordinates, I'm always gonna give you two, okay? So let's say for example, I'll give you three and minus two. Now the first one is always the x, and the x-axis is this one. Okay, so that's your x. The next one is y, and that's this line over here. Okay, so that's x, that's y. So the way that this works now is if you wanna go plot this point, um, you're gonna go three, oh, and another thing I need to mention, sorry, um, is when you go to the right-hand side, the x numbers are gonna be positive, and when you go to the left-hand side, the x numbers will be negative. When you go up, the y numbers will be positive, and when you go down, the y values will be negative. So for example, this could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, for the x values, and then this will be minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight. And for the y values, when you go up, that's positive. So one, sorry, there, two, three, four, five, and then minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. So if we wanna put x as three, okay? So you go to where x is three, so you go one, two, three, Okay, so that's there. Don't put a dot there. And then you're gonna go minus two for the y. So you're gonna go, um, you're gonna go uh, two down from this part that you already got to. So one, two. And then you're gonna put a dot over there. And so that is where you would put that point, okay? So that would be three and minus two. Now let me give you another one before we go practice an example. So let's say minus four and five. So remember, it's always the x first. So we're gonna go minus four. So that's four to the left. Okay, and then you're gonna go five, which is now positive for the y, and so you're gonna go five up. One, two, three, four, five. And that's where you, we are gonna be over there. Okay, so let's practice. So let's go plot point A. So remember, it's always x and then y, and it's always the x first, so it's five, and it's positive, so it's five to the right. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's there, and then three, down because it's negative. So one, two, three, and then take that one away, and there's your answer. Okay, so you only wanna put one dot, so that's A. Now we're gonna do B. So B is minus six for the X, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then minus two for the Y. And so there's where your point will be over there, so we can just label that as B. Now we're gonna do a C, so it's three to the left for the X, one, two, three, so that's there, and then we're gonna go seven up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I didn't draw enough space, but you get what I mean, it would have been over there, okay? And so we can fill that in as C, and then this one is gonna be seven to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then three up, one, two, three. And there we go. So that's how you plot points. Now let's just do one little example or activity where you just have to go find the coordinates. So let's go find the coordinates of A. So you need to find its X and its Y. So you see it's over here. So what you could do is you could just draw a line going back to the X axis and back to the Y axis. So if you look at this point, it's one, two, three, four, five, and that's positive five for the X then. And then the Y, it just goes one up, so that'll be positive one. Now pause if you need to and make sure you get this, all right? And then B is gonna be over here. So if we just draw a line up, we draw a line to the side. So then the X will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but it's negative because it's to the left. And then the Y is gonna be uh, one, two, three down. So that'll be negative three. Now we're gonna look at C. So if we look at C, it goes one, two, three, four to the, whoops. If we look at C, it goes one, two, three to the left. And then it goes one, two, three up. So the X will be negative three, but the Y will be positive three because it's up, okay? Now, last one is gonna be D. So D 
is going to be, um, let's just go there and there, sorry. So with D, it's going to be, so it's going to be 1, 2 to the right. And then, and then for the Y, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4. So that means it goes 4 down, so that's negative 4.